right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that's a nice strike. Keep busy, right, keep hands busy. Up, hands up. Set up that right now. Back to the jab now, no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice right hand. Three minutes to go. 
right hand on point. Superman punch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just misses there with the left. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Back and forth we go here. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Such a fast leg kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. And he lands that side kick. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he was set down to the shot. He should fight the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. It's okay, keep going. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice sneaky head kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Connects with a right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Good head movement there. Nice slip. Take the cage. Let's get that cage control now. Big kick land. Oh, huge block. Waning seconds here of round number three. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure, and when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low, and his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. What a body kick. Now, 
Right under the elbow, providing he can land. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice right hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's going after the head. Big kick lands. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, goes to the roundhouse kick now and lands. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a devastating technique the roundhouse kick is. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Right hand upstairs. Big kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful punch. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Just missed with the left there. Seconds remaining in round four. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, high, but high. unable to find the target. Well, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Pretty effective strike there as he led with that left hand. It's his best strike. It does not matter what fight stance he's in. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Lee gets hit with a kick. <laughs> Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Nice one, two there. Try to establish that jab. Stay busy. You control this. Right hand upstairs. Come on, guys, keep it moving, let's go. Strong defense there to block the shot. Beautiful 
beautiful body kick. Slips. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, what a punch. Big head kick. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. And he landed the right hand there. Cable gets his right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, nice right hand. 15 seconds to go. Right punches there. The final horn sounds. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting the victory. He should be very proud of his performance. Did a good job.